mostly my uh, childhood uh, went on in like in a village so i belong to place like that so i always look for the greenery and the ownership of whole place as such My name is Kiran, and uh, I run a firm called Design Matters. Yeah, so this project was particularly challenging for us because uh, we had a site which is actually a dream site for any person to have, even for an architect to design. My name is Neeraj, Neeraj Sharma. I born and brought up from Bihar, Patna. So. I have to say, this was the first time I was going to build a house. All the time I was living in a, a flat or row houses uh, or already a built-up house. So those were built up with their builder's requirement and not the client's expectations. So we always found there something that we need. Some this is not there. There is something lagging. So there, there was you can say there are a pile of expectations that we had. So see, my first requirement was that I wanted a plot in nearby location only because my kids' school is here in the Sarjapur Road also. And the second thing, I wanted in the gated society because this gives a sense of security to me. So when I came here, and the third thing, most important, the north and east opening, the east and north corner, this corner plot was my preference. So these three things fit in the my criteria. So the interior design of this house, we, this particular project, we were the architects as well as the interior designers. Now having our light and all others in place, we wanted to keep the house a very neutral, uh, subtle palette. So the flooring we have gone for large format Nexion tiles, which is a kind of a beige with a dark grey epoxy uh, joints. Uh, the staircase has got wooden treatment. We have got wooden planks for the staircase and a concrete finish. And so the material palette is a beige, white and greys and uh, the wood all the doors are got a uh, kind of a teak wood more towards uh, a kind of a, a walnut finish so the site for the uh, nest is actually a square site it is a 50 by 50 plot and it on the eastern side is a large uh, uh, the 60 feet road and this corner plot this is a 30 feet road on the corner that is facing north. So we have a north, east, west and south. So one of the prime design considerations on this house was we wanted to, uh, if this is the section that we are drawing, this being our eastern part, we wanted to take the ground floor for parking and the other areas. So things like multimedia room and the guest bedroom, which does not require a view, we placed it in the ground floor. So we elevated the uh, first floor has the living, dining and the parents room. Then there are two bedrooms over here and there's a terrace over here. So this is the terrace garden. So the advantage with this kind of planning was we've got the living facing the green trees canopy over here. And there's a lot, much more light available in the first floor rather than the ground floor. So the services, the car parking, the uh, uh, home theater and all being in the ground, it made a lot of sense for us to have the living, dining and the parents room in the first floor. So on the first floor, what we've done is uh, this being the site and this being the first floor. So we have the staircase right at the back. So and the lift. So you take the staircase and come to the living room. So this part, the center part is the living room. And we have the parents room over here, which is the parents toilet and the dresser being over here and we kept the kitchen in the southeast so what this did was we got the cooking towards the eastern part of the house and plus we we have a slit window over here looking at all the nice greenery over here 
and uh, this became the dining the space between the kitchen and the uh, western part and here we have a powder room and we have a store room so the living and one very important thing that we did was both the living and the parents room because we have lifted it off the ground and we were losing the garden we created a gar green space to the eastern part over here So the biggest challenge I faced was choosing the glasses. That I should go with the normal balconies or should I opt for the big uh, whole uh, glass balcony. This was my biggest challenge. And why was it? Because I was very much afraid of cleaning them. Because this glass really required a lot of cleaning. So this was my <laughs> biggest challenge. But when we met Fenista guys and they gave us this assurance that this will, it's easy to maintain thing. And it really gave me a confidence. I choose Finista because of my prior experiences in this case. I lived in the apartments here and I really faced this problem of uh, either I'm, I'm my window is closed or not, the noise will come inside. If I'm taking a meeting and if I close it, still the noise cancellation is not there. And uh, they, those glasses were easily getting uh, dirty. So cleaning them was also a task. When I went to the Finista, these two things really attracted me a lot that they really had a um, noise cancellation glasses and cleaning part is really very easy. It's very easy to maintain. And definitely they really provide me all uh, glasses with what whatever type of glass I was looking for, whatever type of window I was looking for, they were ready to customize it and their uh, whole portfolio of the glasses were really exhaustive. So I had choices to go for it okay here i can go like this in this room i can go like uh, this kind of a glass so this is one thing i choose i liked from the finista and that's why we went for the finista i would recommend finista for two major things there are uh, huge uh, options of glasses and noise cancellation cleaning and uh, uh, their uh, team was good. They really come up with uh, the way how they can install the things and how they can do. So their communication with them was very easy for us. I would uh, recommend Fenestra because of course of its brand name, its after sales service. And also uh, whenever we contacted them for a project, they were very quick to take measurements, give the quote, do the follow ups. It was seamless working with them. It was not like we had to repeatedly follow up with them. And uh, they did a great job with the installation for this building and our other side. So I think they finished it very fast. So this part of the uh, work uh, happened like it was a breeze working with them in this project and as well as other projects. So I think that's one reason why I would uh, strongly recommend Fenestra, apart from the very good brand name that they have. <laughs>